right now. I want to talk about the dessert you made at the Eat Out Awards. Yes. You said this is one of your favorites to make. It is. Um, I <clears throat> got a, a beautiful honeycomb uh, from one of my suppliers and he had sent me a photograph of it with the, um, the window behind it and, and this light shining through it. And that's where I got the idea to, to make this um, dessert. I wanted to kind of showcase the, the beautiful honeycomb and um, how amazing bees are yeah. and how like um, honey is an amazing product. It's like this little miracle product. And um, so that's where the inspiration came from. So it's originally actually on my tasting menu at the White Room. Mm -hmm. Um, and we decided that this is what we wanted to let these 800 people experience. What's it like cooking for 800 people? It is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was, um, yeah, I mean, the week after the awards, we were all just exhausted. I think like the adrenaline and the excitement mm -hmm. and, and all these things. Um, but I'd say cooking for that, for that amount of people um, kind of boils down to math, largely. <laughs> <laughs> I would be really like bad for, at it then. For a couple of weeks, the only thing I could see was 800. <laughs> um, so it was organizing 800 bowls and organizing you know, all the ingredients for these 800 desserts. And just looking at it when we were sending it out was a really cool feeling. It was an, an incredible feeling. And yeah. <clears throat> I've got a really small team. So um, for us, we were like, Wow, that's that's amazing. That's really cool that we can pull something that, that big off. Well, congratulations. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah, <laughs> it was loads of fun. We had an absolute blast. And it was the first year that the White Room at Dear Me has been nominated in the top top, top 20, 20, top 20 yeah. restaurants. Hey. Yeah, so um, it's been a, just over two years now that we've um, that we've been doing our kind of mm -hmm. White Room dinners and we played around with it in the, you know, in the, in the beginning, but it's gotten a little bit more and um, serious um, in say the last year. So last year I was um, awarded the Rising Star Award um, at the Eat Out Awards, which is amazing. That was, I think, such a motivation as well because I was like, wow, these guys actually see something in yeah. me and I think I need to like let loose and see, you know, see what happens. So it was amazing that we got um, nominated in the, in the top 20 and it's been a lot of fun and excitement for me and my team. It's so great to see women chefs out there representing because That's it's such a male dominated <laughs> profession. It is. Um, there's such a debate sometimes over like whether female chefs should be recognized as female chefs. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about it. And yeah. um, we, you know, we all work hard. We've all got creative minds, I, I think. The only kind of difference there is between a male or a female chef is prob probably physically they are stronger, you know, yeah. and maybe have more endurance or something like that. But yeah, I mean, otherwise we're, we're pretty much all the same. Yeah. So, <laughs> and we give them a run for their money. Good. So. <laughs>